Hi there, welcome back to the channel and on this video I'm just going to do a short uh, product rundown of a brand that I recently came across uh, in my search for alternatives for my traditional paints uh, and in that process I came across uh, this particular brand uh, by the Scale Modeler Supply or SMS and I was looking, originally I was looking for MRP, Mr. Paint, Lacquer Paints, but unfortunately in New Zealand uh, they're not available and they can't be shipped from Europe uh, due to restrictions on transport of uh, chemical products. Which seems strange given that I got these from Australia, they were easily shipped, I got them within a few days of ordering uh, and they were shipped from Australia with no problems so why you can ship from one area but you can't ship from another I don't know maybe it's a time scale thing I, I don't know but anyway so I got hold of their sanders uh, they've got uh, fine grit medium and coarse grit quite uh, quite durable sanding sticks they're quite rigid these ones um, but they do have other products as well. I got their paint brushes and I got a couple of their starter uh, paint sets. Um, I've got their black uh, primer, they're just their sur black surface primer, and the beginner set, which has um, has four four paints in the box. Uh, I've got uh, a white, a black. And then uh, there's two, um, there's a flat clear and a, and a clear gloss as well. So you get those in the starter set. So I've actually got a project that I want to use these on right now. And I'm going to try them out right now. So uh, I'll fire up the compressor and get the airbrush going and we'll have a look at these so all I'm gonna all I'm gonna use for starters is the black primer because I want to use a primer on some uh, I've got these uh, these palm trees which are, are going to be used in a diorama and I just want to get them primed up I'm going to clean them first just with a bit of uh, isopropyl alcohol just to clean them down first before I start spraying any primers on them. So I'll do that first and then uh, fire up the compressor and we'll get going. So this is the paint that we're going to be use, using. It's SMS or Scale Modeler Supplies uh, Surface of Black. It's just their primer. Now because these are lacquers and they describe them as acrylic lacquers in the sense that they're a chemical, um, as opposed to being a water based paint, they're a, a um, lacquer based paint. Um, they are quite toxic, so as with any paints, so, and particularly if you're going to be um, spraying, uh, you know, obviously take precaution of good ventilation. Uh, if you can wear a respirator mask, uh, do so. Um, I've got one here, um, so I'll be using that, and I'll, I'll have a window. I've already cramped the pressure up on the compressors. Um, so recommendations for spraying these, they're saying uh, 12, 12 to 15 psi with a 0.3 needle in in your airbrush. Uh, my particular airbrush uh, goes up in gradients of uh, goes from 0.15 to 0.2 to 0.4 to 0.6 and so on. So I've actually got a 0.4 in this airbrush. So uh, I'm going to go with that because it's my standard. Uh, is it's a good all rounder size and I can I can get some pretty close in um, detailing with it. Um, and I may try it later on with smaller size needles if if this doesn't work out right. So um, I'll turn the camera off, I'll just get the window open.
Okay, so first impressions of that. I'm actually really quite impressed. That's about the smoothest primer I've ever used. Um, I mean, I've tended to use the Tamiya uh, white or grey primer in the spray can, but for a lacquer, um, first time using a lacquer primer, I'm really quite impressed with that. The only thing to note I found, I had my uh, pressure set for around about the 12, 10 to 12 PSI mark and uh, the uh, spray pattern was somewhat um, uh, it, it, it was somewhat granular uh, in the spray pattern so I've just uh, increased the pressure uh, actually more around about sort of 17 or 18 mark and just a, just a, as a quick spray there, I can immediately tell the difference. So it tends to prefer slightly higher pressure. It might just be a combination of my uh, needle nozzle combination being a slightly uh, wider nozzle at 0.4 as opposed to the recommended 0.3. But um, that it certainly tends to prefer a slightly higher pressure. And it could also be to do with um, atmospherics and temperature of the day but uh, so I've just cranked up pressure a little bit and uh, I'm going to move on to the second pantry Right, shark compressor. Right, so final impressions after that. So this was my first time using a, a lacquer, and I can see the difference straight away. If I'd have primed this with an acrylic-based paint, um, or or an acrylic-based primer. I would have seen quite a more of a rough texture um, with perhaps a more uneven surface but this this has just gone down 
beautifully. Um, no problem spraying it, absolutely no problem at all. It is very, very thin paint. Uh, you know, I, I did say that I had to increase my, my pressure a little bit. As I, that could be just my needle nozzle uh, combination uh, differing slightly from the recommended uh, uh, size on the, on the label. But absolutely no problem. And that's dry straight away. I mean, I, it's dry to certainly dry to the touch. Um, but I'll certainly leave it uh, maybe 12 to 14, 24 hours before doing any anything else with it. But uh, certainly very, very good paint to use. Uh, good coverage. Um, no problem spraying it at all. Uh, cleaning wise, uh, I don't think I'm quite set up yet for that. Um, but I, uh, I had to use, uh, first I tried using some Vallejo airbrush cleaner, um, IPA doesn't work, um, I also tried, I also used uh, Tamiya's airbrush cleaner, that actually worked, um, and then uh, last ditch was Mr. Color Leveling Thinner, that worked a treat. So that's uh, Mr. Color Leveling Thinner is obviously more of a an all rounder. Uh, I've seen people use this stuff for thinning uh, Tamiya acrylic paints. Um, so uh, a, and, I, and I understand that a pure acrylic. Uh, this stuff doesn't work. So whatever the chemical compound is of Tamiya acrylics, this stuff works and it also works on these lacquers as well. Um, it probably wouldn't be a good, uh, probably wouldn't be a bad idea to, I uh, probably need to go to the DIY store and get some cellulose thinner because this stuff's expensive and I don't want to be using it all the time for purely just for cleaning my airbrush. Um, so I'd rather use something uh, that is cheaper per mil um, for, for cleaning purposes but this stuff definitely works and so does the Tamiya airbrush cleaner. An interesting fact about the Tamiya airbrush cleaner is I've seen the actual uh, uh, material safety data sheet for this stuff and this stuff is no different to your Tamiya extra thin glue that we use for construction and for bonding joints. So these two are identical. So if you're using this stuff, just think you're spraying this through your airbrush. So whatever it's going to do to your uh, seals and O-rings, um, who knows. But um, this stuff is cheaper per millimeter than buying a jar of this. So anyone out there uh, who uses this stuff, save yourself a bit of money, buy this stuff, pour it into the into there, and you've got yourself your time you're extra thin. Uh, fact. So um, so uh, overall, I'm really happy with this uh, experiment. So first time using these, so um, I'm going to continue using them. Uh, I'm converted. If 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 this is an example of uh, what uh, lacquers spray like, well, I'm more than happy to use that and to swap over. That's not to say I'm not going to stop using acrylics completely. Um, I I think it's it's just exploring my option my options for paints. So. Um, Hope you enjoyed this video. If you get something out of it, cool. If you like the video, cool. Like, subscribe, and uh, see you on the next video. Cheers. Bye.